everyone. So today is June 21st and yesterday, my birthday, yay, I made a brilliant decision to go for my CT scan because I figured if I was surrounded by birthday love, the bad news from my CT scan wouldn't be quite so miserable. Unfortunately, I thought wrong because I really didn't expect to get the level of bad news that I got yesterday. Now, I know that I have some issues with my face, so you guys may or may not be able to see it, but basically my left eye is starting to droop, like my, the I've got some nerve damage in here, and I went to see the TMJ specialist, and he picked up on that right away, and then my cheekbones are no longer um, aligned, and they were actually great cheekbones before. You know, ladies, you do your makeup enough, you actually see, you know, things like that, so those have been misaligned. So right away, he picked up on those two things, and he did a whole assessment. He was really good, and I asked him if my face was going to go back to looking normal, and I got, like, this wonderful lecture that I'm already beautiful, and it was, like, pat, pat, pat. And the reality is my face will never be back to normal. And it's not that I don't think I'm beautiful. I just want to manage my expectations of, like, okay, if this is my face, is it going to get worse over time? Like... I, I need to mentally prepare for what's going to happen to me. So that was the conversation we had. He did a whole assessment of my bite alignment, my teeth, whatever. He also assessed, which I thought was really interesting, he um, sprayed on some freezing on my shoulder, which it carries a lot of tension, which I didn't even realize because I'm in so much pain with my face that I don't even really notice everything else that's happening. And then he did a bunch on my neck, and then he sprayed my jaw too. It was kind of like for those of you, my horsey friends that are following, they they freeze the hoof of the horse, and then they go up and they freeze the next part, and then they go up and freeze the next part, like trying to figure or they go down, I guess, trying to figure out exactly where the pain and the problem is. Anyway, he was testing all of this, and he's like you're really tough. Like, you're really tough. The way I'm not reacting, but he can tell exactly how much tension is in there. So today I'm a little sore from the treatment or the assessment. So I'm really sore in through here, uh, sore in through my face. Uh, I'm going to take you over to the CT scan, which is what uh, they actually give you. This great thing about the American medical system is they give you copies of everything. They're like, oh, okay. So I'm going to take you over to that and you can see it. And then we're going to talk about what happened at the end of the assessment. All right, now before I go and explain in my layman's terms these super cool x-ray CT scan things that I'm going to talk about, here's my disclaimer. I am not a doctor. I have no medical background. I'm merely attempting to relay the message that was given to me. So for those of you with a medical background watching, just, just maybe skip this part. <laughs> anyway, so here is the left side of my face in the skeletal. And these are actually really cool um, CT scans and you can actually go by layers and x-rays and like there's all sorts of different modalities and adjustments you can make here. It's kind of cool. But here is my TMJ, my temporal mandibular joint and you can see healthy bone is this color and you can see the damage that's been done in there. So that is actually what we're looking at in terms of the damage and what he had explained to me was he said that what happens is when you get punched in the face there's like internal bleeding that causes issues and it doesn't drain properly in edema and friction and again I'm not very good at explaining that all I know is that there's a problem and they think they may or may not be able to fix it is really what it comes down to now we're gonna rotate look my pretty little face Okay, enough fooling around, because these are actually a little bit hard to rotate on my computer. Now, what he also said is looking at this, I'm going to need to talk to a chiropractor as well, because my vertebrae in my spine where they choked me are not sitting correctly. Now, I wish I could explain that to you better, but he just said that there is compression here, and I don't actually know. He said he can't really get into that because that's not his department, and if he really gets into it too far, he's overstepping his boundaries, but he does did say that there's some issues there. And it makes sense because it's the exact spot I've had pain since uh, the home invasion. So I'm going to trust that he knows what he's talking about when it comes to that because I probably wouldn't have, I've got, I'll show you in the rest of the vlog here, I'll talk about some of the other places that I've pain, but I've had pain there since it started, but I haven't really paid too much attention to it because my face hurts too much. Okay, so here is the right side and 
you can see that the bone is healthier. So when you look at it sort of from the side here, these are very hard to rotate. Uh, it goes further up and it's a little bit healthier. So we have a little better color up here. But what's happening is because the left side is all out of whack, it's actually damaging the right side. So uh, although I don't feel as much pain in my right side, it's going to be happening in the very near future. All right, so at the end of the assessment, they give you this wonderful piece of paper with uh, how much everything is going to cost. Now, let's see. The Okay, so it was 380 just to get the assessment done. So that's the CT scan and the assessment. And to get the molds done of my teeth is $95. To get the uh, appliance, like the splint for my teeth to pull my jaw out a little bit, is uh, 2000 and then this is where they get you because I thought okay that's not so bad and keep in mind this is just for my jaw this is not for the issues that I'm having with my spinal cord I still need to go to a chiropractor and get that assessed to see how bad the damage is and what the treatment protocol is so the office visit plus therapy is 325 per visit and then the muscle release is 85 and the trigger point injection if needed per muscle group is 125 and when they did the assessment I have like three muscle groups that are potentially issues so even if I did like the low end we're looking at oh and these I uh, said so these uh, therapies are needed two to three times a week for six months so the treatment is let's just round it off at 1500 a week uh, and that won't fix my face that will alleviate some of the pain that I'm in so it's like 1500 a week or live on painkillers that are covered by health benefits now I'm currently waiting to see if the home insurance company will cover these medical expenses. If not, then we have to go through um, some other hoops to see if my medical expenses will cover it. And um, I, it's, it's about to be a whole nightmare of sorts. And so the next step is to, I still need an MRI for my TMJ and I still need to go see the chiropractor and all sorts of other fun and super awesome things. So, not gonna lie, feeling a little bit sorry for myself today, a little bit angry, a uh, little bit frustrated. It feels like this year just won't end.